Hello, now I'm going to go over Catherine's duties. Catherine's duties is essentially the intercompany um, process between the two roles. So I'm currently in Jamie's role now. She just finished the purchase order process. This purchase order was sent out. This was the original sales order. It was to the test amateur company. The dropship items automatically, it was a special order, so the purchase order was automatically created. And you can see here, and it's been sent out for the intercompany, right? And we're also going to take notice that this is number S01038, right? So now we go ahead and start Catherine's process, which is enter company. Right? So I'm going to go down here to TPP, and I'm going to switch to her role. Um, hers is the all subs. She has access to all the subs. All right, then we're going to go down here to um, financial, other transactions, and manage intercompany sales orders. So just a quick refresher of uh, what this is, is that um, TBB Worldwide is purchasing their inventory from TBB, TBB Import. And TBB Import is purchasing their inventory from the Chinese factories. And so that means for every sales order that's created um, to the customer, a purchase order has to be created because in order for the inventory process to begin and then the inventory, the purchase order be created to the intercompany vendor, which represents TP brand import and then TP brand import will get, will receive the purchase order, which will in exchange create a sales order for them and they'll create a sales order and they'll still another purchase, do another special order item and create a purchase order to the actual Chinese factory. So we're doing the second half of it now. So remember, I was going over the number of it, it was SS0138. So that's the one that we're actually gonna create, this one right here. And I'm gonna do generate sales order. Oh, it's just saying we have to do location. So we're up here, so we filled in the worldwide, the customer that it is, fills in all this information, you make sure we do location. It's a container. And then do generate sales order. Uh, so you can see the sales order was created here. All right, so the sales order was created. Um, from that, this was the purchase order to enter company. This is the pair of sales order. All right, and this is the sales order to the uh, worldwide, the other subsidiary. So you see it's enter company worldwide. You see, they create a purchase order to China. And this isn't actually going to be sent to China. What is sent to China is what Jamie created in the first part in, this, uh, uh, in her duties, which was the pro forma PO creation, and she emails it to Alice. But here you can see this is the informal one, right? So this is essentially how far you would take it. And then, um, yeah. And so the original thing before... One thing I want to mention before uh, Catherine would do this, create do the intercompany, she would make sure she would get the feedback from the container and make sure all the ma items matched up before she created this. But this is the purchase order process. And now, once it's on the bow and they get a notification, they're going to go ahead and hit receive. So this is going to be TB Brands Import receiving the inventory. Right, and... Um, I think we're doing the TBP number, correct? I want to make sure I have the correct TBP number. One moment. Sorry about that. I want to make sure we have the correct TBP number. The TBP number is TBP00. A42, and that's what we're going to use for the whole transaction process. So this is the item receipt. This is TV brand imports received from China, and you'd go in here and you would drop this in here. You say the amount that you're receiving, the full twenty thousand, and you hit save. All right now, um, TV brand's import actually. 
owners of inventory, right? So now they can actually fulfill their sales order to uh, TV brands worldwide. So now that they own the inventory, they can actually fulfill it. Okay, see this is carried over right here, and you hit save. Excellent, now she would bill. And these are the, uh, this is the bill that you're essentially going to be sending worldwide to pay for the inventories. Oh, it's time to ship it's time to ship via T V Ocean. Excellent. Wait one moment. So I want to pull up this is actually the purchase order through China. Alright, so once um you guys have invoiced TP Brands worldwide. We're in TP Brands Imports role. This is Catherine doing this duty. After TP Brands worldwide is invoiced, so you send them their bill. Now you can create a bill that you're going to have to pay China. So it's on the record that you pay the bill. So this is the bill creation process here. And you hit. I'm always going to write tests in here. Hit save. And so this would be the end of the Catherine's duties. Just to do a quick recap, Catherine is going to be doing is in charge of the intercompany role. She's in the accounting all subs role. After she receives the shipping advice from China with the accurate amounts, she's going to go into the original sales order to the end customer and update the amounts. And then she's going to update the purchase order amounts, and then she's going to go into the financial other transactions role, and she's going to open up the manager to company transactions. She's going to find which purchase order she's going to create. She's going to hit that, and that's going to create a sales order and a purchase order. The sales order is to worldwide, and the purchase order is to the manufacturer. Uh, once that's created, once it's actually on the boat, she can hit receive on the purchase order, receive the items into inventory, and then hit bill. So this is the bill that they're going to use in order to pay uh, the Chinese manufacturers. Then she's also going to hit the fulfill on the sales order. The sales order is to fulfill it to the TV brands worldwide and the intercompany. And she's going to hit hit the invoice, and that's what TV brands worldwide is going to be paying, right? And then um, that would be the end of her duties. Thank you.